In this video I'm going to discuss what hydraulic rear remotes are, how much they cost, the uses of them, the different types, how they are installed, and how they are operated. These are your hydraulic rear remotes. This tractor has two sets of rear remotes on it. Remotes range from $250 to over $800 each. Some of the different uses for rear remotes are a top and tilt kit, which is a hydraulic top link and a hydraulic side link. A post hole digger with a downforce kit, angle offset or tilt on a scraper blade, hydraulic scar fires on a box blade, some of your hay equipment requires hydraulic rear remotes, a wood splitter can be used with rear remotes, and a tail wheel on a rotary cutter are some examples. There are three main types of rear remotes. The most popular is a double acting rear remote which just basically runs the cylinder in and out. You push your lever forward and it'll run the cylinder in, you pull back on the lever, it'll run it out. Then there is a remote with a detent which allows you to lock that cylinder or to lock the valve open. So if you're running a wood splitter you would lock it open and then it would be controlled by the control valve on the wood splitter. And then the third type is a float. This tractor has a float, a remote with a float on it and it's mainly used on the side link and what float does is basically puts the valve in neutral so with it in float, the side link is free to move up and down as it needs to. So if I'm using the blade to move snow, I can put it in float and it won't tear up the driveway real bad. The valves for the rear remotes bolt on usually towards the back of the transmission on the tractor. There is a cover right there that is usually, that is removed. The valve is bolted, put on in place and then the cover is reinstalled. If you want two remotes, they put two remotes, then that same cover is reinstalled. The valves just keep on stacking on top of each other. Some tractors can only accept one remote valve, though. Other tractors can accept three or more on some ag tractors. This tractor here can accept up to three remotes, but it has two on it. The valves are operated either by a cable or a rod. And here's a closer look at the remotes. This is a Kubota. One really cool thing about the remotes is you can hook your hoses up or unhook them with one hand. And just to be clear, one remote has two hose connections. So this is one remote here and below it is one remote. That's not four, that is two remotes. The rear remotes are controlled from the operator seat just have levers that work up and back to run your cylinders in and out or whatever implement you have and this tractor has float so you just push it up and it latches and stays there if you had a remote with a detented be just like this remote here with a float you just push it forward and it would lock in place so the valve would always be on 